how do you really define like the innovation or the transformation process? I mean, we, we talked about the people, but when you're going into a new organization, how do you sell them on the idea that change is important on this level? Well, I try to make it as relatable as I can. So one of the things that I do is whenever, whenever I join a new organization, I try to spend as much time with folks above me, across from me, next to me, or in different reporting structures to really try to learn and understand what makes them tick, what they relate to. You know, when you start thinking about one of the examples I've used in the past when I was consulting for an organization a while ago, and we're trying to reimagine the way marketing and branding was done in that particular space. And this one individual, a senior executive, was very, very hung up on you know investing millions of dollars in TV ads. And then we said, hold on a second. Let's talk about how you live your life. When you are at home and an ad comes up, so first of all, you watch everything on demand short of live sporting events, but you watch everything on your time. When an ad comes on, what do we do? We fast forward if we can. And if we cannot, we pick up a device and or go to the bathroom or kitchen. Now tell me again why we should spend millions of dollars in those ads. And when it clicks, for some reason, people struggle bringing the way they live their lives to work is somehow still treated as different because we've done this thing in this industry, but this way for 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 years. Why change? But everything around them at home, with their families, with their siblings, with their best friends, with you know the way they do things at a bar or a restaurant, everything has changed. So I think trying to relate to them that it's inevitable and that it's not really meant as change because people are creatures of habit. We like comfort. When I was in Jersey, you know, I would hit the same pot every morning going to work. I would get stuck at the same light. Why? I don't know. I knew it was there 20 years because they didn't fix it, but that's the way I went. When you're sitting at home, you have your favorite spot. We all do. Is that that corner on that couch? Is that recliner? You have a spot. When you get up in the morning, you're trying to go to work or go going somewhere. You have your routine that you go through. So trying to get people out of routine and just focused on incremental, smaller steps, digestible bite-sized increments. And on the other hand, if none of that works, and in most cases it, it works, if none of that works, you just show them examples of companies that refuse to change that are no longer in business. Market forces don't really care about our feelings. If the market is telling you hang a right or hang a left and you keep going straight off the cliff, well, that's the decision you made. Right. It, it's not like the market's going to move you, right? Yeah. Um, and it's still a personal choice. I mean, it, I love how you kind of brought it back again, right? It's each of us have our own habits. If we don't make the transformation personal, then it's never going to be a, something that changes. The habits are the hardest part to break everybody out of, especially when we're working in larger organizations too, right? There's We keep on growing more and more and you get that same kind of message. Well, we've been doing it for like this for 20 years. Why would we change? Why change now? There might be a better way. I think is what I hear. I am hearing you say it. Absolutely. And the worst thing about it is you try something new, you figure out it doesn't work, you adjust you course correct and you do it again. And that's what we're talking about with that small incremental changes. Right. So that Very few things in life are terminal. And the people don't understand that. Very few. And if you look backwards, the things that you were really stressing out about at that moment, today, a year or three or five later, look laughable at best. So when you have that grounding of, you know what? So I'll try something else. Maybe we'll miss the mark and we'll learn from it. We'll adjust and we'll do it better next time. That is still better. Going to that incremental uh, process of, of innovation and exploration than, than never to do anything, play it always safe and then go out of business. Innovation itself, by its nature, doesn't really do well in structure. So you have to give people the incentive and motivation and empowerment to go out there and try something new. But the moment you go, you must follow these 17 steps in, in a row. You have channeled and blocked and limited their thoughts and ideas. And therefore, you're not going to get the best product. Couldn't agree more. And keeping that continuous learning, there's that old quote, I think it was uh, attributed to Einstein, right? Anybody that tells me they know everything has stopped learning. And mm -hmm. we have to keep on learning, always keep on building on what we've known from our past and finding new ways to do things. And, and finding another thing that's, you know, you mentioned, you mentioned Einstein, uh, another quote that resonates that's tangential, but irrelatable. And that is, if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will spend the entire life thinking it's stupid. We try to get everybody into these roles without really ever reflecting on what are their capabilities, passions, and where their drive sits. 
I tell all my friends and people like who I mentor, I mentor in different industries over the years. I said, find a place, go to an apex where three things collide, right? One, something you're really good at. Two, you love doing. Now, because I know people who are really good at something, hated doing it. Or I also know people who love doing something, but they're really not good at it, right? And then third is what other people need, market demand. You focus on the area where those three come together, you can't lose. There's zero probability you're going to lose. Absolutely. I love it. You're you're hitting all my high notes too. I, I love hearing the kind of stuff. 